Okay, so one thing I'm really surprised about is that no one inside Chanel cares if you film. This might be the vlog um, where I film like the most uh, Chanel pieces. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm currently inside Harrods. Look at that lighting. I'm in the fine jewelry section so hopefully no one will turn me off for filming. But uh, anyway, I'm inside Harrods and I decided to take you along with me. See what's out, see what's new. We're gonna check out Chanel, Louis Vuitton, a little bit of Fendi maybe, some Bulgari and uh, yeah. We'll see what I come across. Anyway, so if you've never been on my channel before, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel, I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but I cover a wide range of topics, unboxings, um, like travel vlogs, shopping vlogs, the occasional high street fashion video thrown into the mix. So if any of that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to join my little YouTube family, consider subscribing, and I guess let's go. I'm in the sunglass section and I can't decide. So I've been coming across these I bet this is like the 10th time and I've been picking them up like every time. They are from Bulgari and they're 50% off. So these are the black ones. I love the arms with this like snake detail. Option number one, I mean, by the time that this vlog goes up, I will have decided, hopefully, for either of the two, number one. And number two is the tortoiseshell version. I keep um, gravitating towards black sunglasses. so. These like would add some variety, but I'm not sure. I, I, I think I prefer the black ones. Vote in the comments. Um, maybe in your opinion, I will have made the right decision. Maybe I will have made the wrong decision, but what do we think? Tortoiseshell or black? They actually have tons of sunglasses on sale, even Celine ones like the, let me turn them around. There we go. I'm um, these like super classic and hyped up with the Triumph logo on the side. Granted, these are only like 20% off, but still. Yeah, definitely not my shape. I keep going to like cat eye sunglasses because that's just what suits me. Anything like too narrow and also like too round just looks so weird on me. So definitely leaning to either of the Bulgari Sunnies. They're basically the same. I, I guess they're the same like size and style and everything. Just. Depends on the coloring. I'm very much leaning um, to the black ones. Do I need some variety or do I just like stick with black sunglasses? <sighs> yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely not. What is this shape? It's neither round nor squarish. I don't know. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. Not the same It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose Did some damage, whoopsies <laughs> But um, let's look at some Chanel bags Love the blue Both actually, like the one on the front is more like a greenish blue and then the bag's like a baby blue. They're kind of cute. And um, I also came across like a walk by when NSA showed a girl like the selection of their costume jewelry pieces in particular, the earrings. They have a like a selection that I've, <laughs> that I've hardly ever seen inside a Chanel before. Like I think four trays of all different um, earrings, which is quite unheard of. Sparkly number. Oh, they're smart and not showing the price because, um, yeah, it's definitely out of my budget for sure. Also, very out there. I probably wouldn't even spend like Zara money on this, but if you have the money to drop on a sequin like sparkly blue coat, Chanel has one. No, that is a crooked flap. If I've ever seen one, look at that. Like, if I was an SA, I would like try my best to at least like, try to manipulate the bag a little bit so that it looks okayish on the display, but absolutely not. Let's check the price on this baby. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not like a classic double flap, but below 5k <laughs> is a bargain at this point. Funny thing, this brooch is actually the first Chanel piece that I ever purchased, and I hardly ever wear it, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, won't be able to check the price on this one, but maybe I'm gonna find it online. 
I'd imagine it's gone up in price significantly. So if I ever decide to sell it, I might probably get the money that I spent back on it. Sorry about the flickering, but do you see this one? This looks like like an accident. <laughs> what is happening? Is that like supposed to look like that? I guess so, but it looks like something spilled on there. Now that is a rainbow bag if I've ever seen one. Obviously, like, not the full rainbow colors, but what do we think? It's not like typical Chanel. Um, also, the... Jeez, for some reason I have a hard time focusing myself, um, but the camera more specifically. Uh, the hardware is like enamel plastic as well. How much do they charge for you? Hey, it's below 5k, which is something. And this little, like, Patent leather number. There we go. It's tiny though, so I don't know how much you'd actually be able to fit inside here. I think earlier this year, might have been like May or something like that, I did a review, also a first impression on the walk. A friend of mine has the walk, the old style with the push button closure. Uh, I mean, if they hadn't gone up in price that much, I would love one, but at this point I can't really justify it. Let me check the price. Yeah, no. I mean, in Euro that would be above 3k, no chance. I mean, the color is gorgeous, but even like in the black, I would love one, but the price is just too much for my liking. And is this like the 31 Cambon or something? Adore the color. Interesting shape. Kind of like vintage -y feeling. Not overly in love, but there's that. <laughs> the color doesn't really come across, uh, but I'm glad it's not flickering, so I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna like play around with the focus or like the lighting, but this is kind of gorgeous. Not overly like that much of a fan of the shape of the bag, but the color is quite breathtaking. I wouldn't purchase uh, a bag like that uh, in that color, maybe like an SLG. Lots of very bright colors. It doesn't have like a proper closure, just like a flap that doesn't really protect you. Um, that's not the price. Almost there. There we go. Again, so much pink. Um, this looks like a small size of the Deauville, but I'm not overly with, familiar with the sizes that it comes in. Oh, by the way, I got my cord exchanged. Finally, I've been wearing like a light blue color for months. I think uh, like I got the light blue like right when I moved to London. So it's been six months essentially. Uh, so yeah, let's pop the price back in there. These are definitely an acquired taste, but um, they're fun. Something else, uh, something different. So let's check the price. Yeah, well, you can get it back for that. <laughs> Again, um, I'm not the target audience when it comes to designer shoes because those prices are insane. I'd imagine the black ones are the same price. Okay. Sequence. Size, Makes sense, price. like for the festive season. Size five, size <sighs> <Okay>. Deep <laughs> inhale, <laughs> deep exhale. <laughs> like, um, take a guess in the comments how much time would pass until the first sequence would fall off? Maybe a day? Maybe two. <laughs> Very summery, I like spring colors. I wish they uh, still did like the public sale um, twice a year because this would definitely land in the sale. I was gonna say these go, uh, these would go amazingly with my Birkin in the tube, but yeah, not for that kind of price. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of loafers in general, but um, they're cute. Just like for the fun of it. Let's look at some ready-to-wear prices. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. For the woman that has everything. Okay, that applies to most Chanel pieces, to be fair. Oh my god, do you see that price tag? Do you agree? This is not the way it is supposed to feel. Oh, 
Let's look at some special bags from Louis Vuitton. Of course, like inside Harris, they don't have the larger selection uh, compared to like a boutique, but it's way easier to film inside Harris than anywhere else. So here we are. Gorgeous petite mile. It's like backlit, so you can't really tell, but beautiful colors. Obviously, like an exotic, so if that's not your thing, um, sorry about that. This looks crazy special. At first, like, um, walked towards it from the back i thought it was like maybe wood or something maybe it is but it's like very lacquered super special and of course it stood on top a massive pile of louis vuitton trunks oh, someday probably won't <laughs> ever happen but someday i might get like a small ish trunk as a coffee table or something like that put some glass on it and that would be the dream, but they are crazy expensive. Of course, like brand new, but also pre-loved. Whenever I see like this situation on the side, I have to think of Lisa from Luxury in Life in the Middle. I adore this. It's quite heavy though, but this is like exactly my type of sunglasses shape. Don't need to be buying yet another pair of sunglasses because uh, yeah, that green bag right there is one of the uh, Bulgari sunglasses that I showed you earlier. Anyway, um, but I love the very like bold gold detail. I'm not sure if Louis Vuitton even does my shoe size, but <laughs> in the interest of my bank account, I don't even want to check, but this is like right up my alley. Let me maybe pan down and show you which shoes I'm wearing. These are by Raid, I think. So yeah, I love myself a platform heel, um, like ankle boot. These have been around for ages. Maybe, like, if you ask the fashion girlies, they're not quite in style anymore, but I adore them still. Love the Go On Fall Bag. Crazy pricey, but the leather is, like, super high quality. At least it feels like it. Um, and this blue is gorgeous as well. I tried on the beigey colored one. This is a children's trunk with, like, yeah. You can hang your toddler's um, jackets and everything. Craziness. Hi, by the way. <laughs> okay, this should be very expensive. Oh, well, um, when you compare that to the prices of the Chanel ready to wear that I showed you, this is actually quite a bargain. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is. Talk to me, baby. So fun. Oh, let me turn it around. There we go. Obviously, this is the Fendigraphy. I was very close to buying one in like a regular size, a usable size, uh, let's say. But the silver is cute, and this is like a fabric. Yeah, <laughs> kind of soft. Interesting. You have to be mindful of like um, getting it dirty or not getting it dirty. This is gorgeous, very playful, not necessarily something I would like buy, especially not like at Fendi prices, but it's like a velvety kind of material and all these like Christmassy ornaments and elements. If you know what the um, back charm is supposed to symbolize, you and I were getting old. This is Stingray, right? I think it is, like a gorgeous green color and yeah lots of embellishment this is adorable this is like is it the i think the shoe is called 
something with first as well, Fendi first shoe, maybe, like as a back charm. Let's quickly look at some Saint Laurent bags. Okay, so this is the Solferino, and I think that's actually the size that I got in the outlet. Granted, mine is black as well, but um, like this isn't like smooth leather, it's like a woven material, which I actually prefer because it's way more scratch resistant, but it's the smaller size and it doesn't fit two phones plus my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. So I'm actually thinking of selling it, but I kind of don't want to because it's such a perfect bag if I um, like was more minimal in terms of what I carry around, but yeah. Also comes in a creamy white color. So these definitely have outlet potential. Also the flap is kind of crooked, right? I mean, not as crooked as the like one bag that I saw on Side Chanel that was crazy, but still like definitely outlet potential. And this one as well, it's got like page, page and leather around the edges and like a suede, yeah, that's suede. Oh, oh wow, it's so soft. Look at that shine as well. Let's find out how much this is because this is actually quite cute. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Also comes in like a creamy white color. It's only like a shoulder bag though, like under the armpit essentially, unless, no, I don't think I saw like a shoulder strap. So you have to be mindful of that. No, no shoulder strap to be seen. I mean, where would you attach it, right? Um, these are adorable. Oh. Kind of drawn to the lilac color one, Dale. <laughs> what do you think about this one? I don't think Dale isn't the biggest, that's uh, Dale from Dale's Edition, um, isn't the biggest fan of Saint Laurent, but what do we think about the light like one? Okay, so that's the price on the like regular leather version. I'd imagine that one might be a little more expensive, but this is cute as well. Also like under the armpit kind of situation, which I don't think I'm down for <laughs> at this point in my life, but yeah. Another lilac lumber in Python. So let's check for the price. Maybe we're gonna find it on this one. Um, nope. So yeah, this is Python and it's 2800, which I think for Python is quite good. Sorry, <laughs> keep forgetting to show my face in these videos. This is adorable, like look, size comparison. <laughs> but I, I gather it kind of fits a lot. It doesn't have like a zipper up top, which like for London isn't ideal, but this is cute. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the price on this one, um, but it's cute. Like, focus, there we go. Sorry about <laughs> the mess of bags in my hand, or like in the crook of my arm, but this is kind of cute. Obviously like handheld, but it does come with a shoulder strap. I'm gonna try to find the price online. Um, I'd be interested in how much this is. I 
Harrods escalators are beyond gorgeous. Anyway, so I'm currently on my way to the fifth floor because I realized that I've never been to shoe heaven, which, yeah, I hear people talk about it and sometimes show it, but not as often. Maybe most people... Oh, okay. Let me check back. So this is what I got distracted by. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, so shoe heaven. I think I'm already like basically walking through it. It's essentially like if you've been on the first floor in Harrods and um, we have the super brand section where every most like most designers have their like individual nook essentially. And I think this is also the situation that we have in terms of shoe heaven. Like, as I said, I've never been. My understanding or like expectation would have been that's like a open concept uh, situation, but looks like it isn't, which is fine. Okay, so apparently I found myself in the sales section and these sales are crazy. So these are, are they like Mac and Mac? Yeah. And the original price, let me zoom in, 1,040 and now they're like 429, which is crazy. So more than half off. Look at the sparkle. And I think, um, I think Cassie Thorpe has a couple of these and like quality wise, they appear to be holding up quite well, don't they? Like. Don't quote me though. Um, better than Amina Muradi, I think at least. Oh, talk about Amina. These are Amina Muradi, right? Again, not overly strong on my shoe game. Yes, they are. And these were 620 and now 39. I mean, they are far from being classic, but that's quite a good amount of saving. And you don't have like any crystals that could fall off, which I guess is a plus when it comes to Amina. So we're at least getting closer to my actual shoe size. And even still, I mean, Gianvito Rossi apparently does at least like up to a 41 and a half. And look at that price. So initially 745 and now 225. I know they're green. They're not like a classic like beige or black, but if you're into green, <laughs> I mean, I can't realistically show you everything, but um, the selection is quite insane. So these are Versace, obviously. And initial price, 1100 and now 329 Okay, so these are like, they are not leather, they are like a satin material. How much are the leather ones then? If even like the satins, like uh, like initial price over 1k, but anyway, they're crazy heavy as well. So you're gonna get a glutes workout while you're wearing these heels. Even Celine shoes, and these aren't the only Celine ones that I've seen. They also have like a couple of sandals on sale. Um, yeah, I think you can see the original price, 830, and now they're 249. That's crazy. Anyway, so if you're in the area and if you've got money to drop on designer shoes, the sales are like up to 75% off and I gather that's kind of true for some uh, shoes. And the selection is so vast and for basically almost every uh, shoe size. For 42, like uh, European 42, not so much, which uh, is a plus and a negative for me, but uh, yeah, definitely check out their shoe sale because it's insane. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I think I'm gonna call it a day because I'm yeah basically done on the shoe heaven and I'm boiling, so I'm planning to go outside because yeah, it's way too warm. But yeah, <laughs> not complaining. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'm gonna catch you in one of my next videos. Bye. Okay, one more thing, completely forgot to mention. I'm gonna unbox whatever I got. I mean, you know, they're a pair of sunnies, you know they are by Bulgari, but you don't know which one of, out of the two. So, I'm gonna wait until the motorcycle has passed. There we go. So, uh, yeah, sound off in the comments below which uh, out of the two pairs that I had been contemplating do you think I got? And I also got something at Gizu. They have a pop-up on the ground floor and like the beauty section, Gizu being this like hair oil brand. 
I think it was started by uh, like an influencer. Her hair is perfection. I didn't get the hair oil this time around because I'm well stocked up at home, but got something else and I think also like some goodies. So I'm gonna unbox that. Not in this vlog because uh, yeah, sit down videos in my tiny Airbnb and super easy. Plus I'm basically like uh, about to move. So I'm already kind of in the process of packing up my stuff, but I'm gonna show you at some point. Might take a little while, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs> Second time saying goodbye. I'm gonna catch you in one of my next videos. Thumb up this video, consider subscribing and and yeah, ciao for now. To tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting louder. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself.